Oh, good night, man. You see the new video. What's going on? Come out and join us. And this is your street of this next meeting. You agree with the people of Nice Man and Street. Come out and join us. I'm 
passing by, uh, looks like an elementary school. All the children in the elementary school are looking this way, it's really adorable. That's the school, the school and all the children are, are having lunch and they're watching us. Don't shoot. When you see him, tell him, don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm trying to tell you this. Don't shoot. Social. Purgatory. When you go to court, after me and get the picture, jury, tell him, don't shoot. Don't shoot. When you see him, tell him, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Hey, I drop a tear for my nigga E. Hey, I wish it would have been me. Hey, and even though I never really blow six, it's my nigga E did. I'm a And I was, I was in the court when they did that, and that was the saddest thing. And like, all he cared about was like, telling his, he just got married, like telling his wife don't cry, and telling everybody don't fight. Like, he's not worried about himself, he's in there worried about us. What, what was the situation? So a year ago, uh, he was, uh, they accused him of breaking into some houses. And I saw the witnesses. There was only two witnesses that say they saw him. And they both saw the back of his head for a couple of seconds. And they both described two different outfits. So it was an inaccurate. But the judge is like, yes, and the witness testimony was perfect. This shit, they, they described two different fucking outfits. They were in the same house. The two witnesses were in the same house. And, yeah. Well, I don't know if he did that, if he didn't do that, but hey, but, okay, they're saying that he took $2,500 worth of stuff. Lindsay fucking Lohan took $3,000 worth of stuff. Lindsay Lohan stole 300 guilty $3,000 worth of stuff. You think Lindsay Lohan's in jail right now? I can tell you damn straight if, if I did it, I wouldn't be in jail. Like maybe maybe a couple years maybe, but not seventeen. He gave him the maximum. Like he he did not. He was not gonna like he he was not. He was gonna give him the maximum. He had already decided. And we brought stacks of letters of support. We're trying to tell the judge, look, this guy's trying to unify gangs and stuff. Like. He's doing really important work in this community right here. 
And a judge could give a shit. He didn't read our letters. He had two letters, but there was a whole stack of letters. The judge didn't read them. Yeah, he, the judge had already decided he's getting the maximum. Yeah. Um, and it could have to do like the sentencing, could have to do with like the work that he's doing with the police brutality movement, and and he's encouraging the gangs to unite and. But seriously, like, he's seriously worried about us right now. But, yeah, that's his, his whole message is, like, unify, don't fight, like... That's when they took him away last time we saw him, he's like... He says I love you to his wife and he says don't fight. Like, I just miss him. I, I miss him so much. I mean, like two nights before he got locked up, like we didn't expect it to happen that day. Like he's at, he's with us, like we, we fell asleep on the couch, like all of my friends, you know, and like it's just so real, like we're sitting on the couch the next day and we're like, fuck, he was just here on our couch, you know, he's like, it's like he died. It's like a temporary death. And it felt like a funeral. In his sentencing, it was really, really like, nobody could speak out there. We just, nobody could speak. It was just so sad. That's the ultimate. Well, not the ultimate, but it's a form of protest because the injustice is there. We see it. We know the injustice. And, and my friend spoke and about the way that they treated us. Yeah. Just that. The way they treated the people supporting in the court, they kicked out all the black people. Wow. Like during the trial, all of his brothers got banned from the court. Are you serious? I'm serious. And then. The only like supporters who were left were white, and they're harassing us. I got accused of filming cops when I wasn't filming cops. I mean, I know what the law is. I can't be filming in there. But when they took Sebo's brother out of the court, some of the cops followed him. So I followed them in the elevator because I wanted to make sure they don't hurt him. So I was getting ready to film them, but I would have done it outside. I think you want your picture. It's hard to carry a sign and a and a camera at the same time. He's got the backwards walk down. Yeah, so I got in the elevator because I just want to make sure they don't beat them up or something. Yeah. But I was playing with my phone in the elevator because I wanted to look at the cops. They could see my phone because they're really tall. And they're sitting there like saying, stop recording us. My channel is PM Beers. PM Beers? PM, like at night, beers yeah. is like a six pack. Beers, beers. Yeah, it's just one word and. PM Beers, cool. I'll check you out. Alright. I think this is the best. Well, I hate that it's continued, obviously, but with what's happening, given the technology that's out today and all the different platforms that we can sort of broadcast this sort of message. Yeah. I think it's only going to benefit the movie. Definitely. I think Ustream is probably the best app for... It's live. Yeah, yeah and then... Um, of course, we want you guys to get in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in other states or have kids or something. Uh -huh.
Um, but that's what got me in the streets, like just watching live streams. Yeah. Because then I realized it wasn't as scary as I thought it was. And when, I, when you watch the whole stream, yeah. and you realize, you know, not everybody's like, well, usually people don't go to jail. Yeah. I went to jail like on Wednesday. But that was fucked up. <laughs> but those charges are not going to stick. Nah. How many views do you have? Right now, about 100. Oh, okay. oh my god. I just, his music makes me so sad. Watching that stream, this uh, music that we're playing on the bar to Seabo the Rapper. Go, uh, go download his MP3s. His wife has two little kids. She could really use the money. See, those uh, children are like two years old and four years old. This kid's gonna be an adult. See, those little boy's gonna be a grown adult before his dad comes out of jail.
Black lives, they matter here. 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 Black lives, they matter here.
Hey, now we're just tuning in uh, to the live stream. Uh, we're here in uh, Slauson in uh, South Central, the Forest District of Los Angeles, California. Uh, we left from Newton Division um, Police Station. Uh, those are the cops who killed Omar Obrego and his Ford. And uh, we're going uh, down to 65th and Broadway. And also Main and I forgot what street, but right nearby, both of these murders happened like really close by. Thank <laughs> you. 
So they're trying to push us out of the lane. So they put their motorcycles in the left lane and they're trying to push us out. We know what they're to do. We know they're trying to get in and sort of They try to get people fighting and They try to divide people and then let people up, let people in and let people out. We gotta stay together. We gotta have each other's back because they are murdering our youth and it has to stop. The days when people are putting up with this have got to be over. And we are the way, together with people across the country. Oh, you could be a victim, I'm